morning. So today is a uh, quick midweek video on European data and Wi-Fi for those of us and those of you lucky enough to be travelling in these uncertain times. So many of you be aware that the UK, having left Brexit uh, last year, introduced um, potential roaming charges with all networks capping their usage generally to 62 days for roaming and then charging you a daily rate of between one to three pounds per day also usually linked to a maximum capacity of between 20 to 25 gigabytes per month ago this changed again with uh, the majority of UK networks um, introducing flat roaming fees from day one in Europe of again between one to three pounds per day and generally not linked to your UK contract so for example we had a Vodafone contract which was unlimited use in the UK and when we traveled over to France Spain and Portugal last year we got about 65 days before they texted us to say that we had exceeded our fair uses policy for traveling in the EU and that they were going to charge us I think it was three pounds 15 per day with a maximum of 25 gig in any EU country so it's about 90 pounds a month and then with the new rules there's a couple of providers stating that they don't have roaming charges and the rest have introduced roaming charges from day one. However, the two providers that are currently not introducing daily roaming charges from day one are limiting it to um, the 62 days fair usage. And some people I've seen online have had more than this and some people have not. So if you're looking to come out to Europe for 90 days or you're looking to come out to the EU and juggle your Schengen restrictions and pop in and out of countries so that you can stay out in Europe for a year as an example, then you more than likely need a European option for your data. So on our wide travels last year we looked at um, individual countries so many countries in Europe require that you're a resident and have a tax number to get a contract. So for example, if you were going to stay in Portugal for a number of months or for longer, you would need a NIF number, which is the fiscal tax number. The same applies in Spain and other countries. So you'd then be limited to a pay-as-you-go SIM. So you could go to a local shop, pick up a pay-as-you-go SIM, um, but you're looking at some quite extortionate prices generally, something like five euros for just a couple of gig of data. So not very much. And of course you can renew that, but every time you do so it's another five euros um, or another 10 euros, depending how much data you want to add. So we also wanted a provider that could provide data across Europe. And again, so for example, here in Portugal, we can get an unlimited SIM uh, and again, when you read the fine print, that is 30 gigs of good speed and then it's throttled and capped past the 30 gig and that is 15 euros for 15 days. However, you can only use that in Portugal, so it's not a solution to get a local SIM that you can then use for travelling around. That also applies in countries like Spain and France. So having tried many different options, uh, about a year ago we found a company in France called Hippo Pocket Wi-Fi and they provide you with a um, small wireless router that you can use in your van while you're travelling or you can put in your pocket while you're out and about shopping or what have you or exploring and you simply select the amount of data that you want it works across the whole of Europe and you simply select the amount of data that you think you're going to want for on a monthly basis and then 
they post out the wireless router to wherever you want it posted and it's a very quick service so we were in the UK at the time they posted it to the UK and it took a couple of days so you get the little box which is here and for us we wanted quite a lot of data so that we could upload our YouTube videos and we wanted to test it first across different countries so you're not linked into a contract you can increase or decrease the amount of data that you uh, sign up for any time and so we tested it in the UK and we got full 4G uh, in the majority of places that we stopped the other thing worth mentioning is it's not linked to a particular provider so for example if you've got a Vodafone contract then whilst that would seek out the strongest provider it would generally prioritise Vodafone as a network in the UK and across Europe whereas the Hippo Pocket Wi-Fi is not linked to any provider so it constantly seeks out the strongest local provider depending where you're located and what mast you're near and what country you're in so in our experience we've used it in France, Holland, the UK Spain and Portugal and we've had a strong 4G signal in the majority of places no problem uploading to YouTube um, so it does represent a very good way of getting a lot of data or whatever data you require across Europe and then uh, when you're done so when you're heading back home assuming you're not out long term you just pop it in the prepaid envelope send it back to them um, so you just uh, sign up, they post it out, you select what, how much data you want and then if you want to change that at a later date when you're on the road you can just send them an email. The other good thing we found about them is their customer service is absolutely superb. So for us we, uh, we wanted 200 gig a month and that's because Rosie is an avid gamer so she uses quite a bit of data goes on YouTube and so on and again as we're YouTubers we quite often upload between 5 and 10 gigs a week so we wanted something reliable fast and that we could use across Europe to make sure we could get our lovely YouTube videos up for you guys um, so we've used it for about a year and very very happy with it so now that we're essentially living in Portugal um, we have looked at local options and the Hippo Pocket Wi-Fi is still really cool for us so we've kept that because um, we do intend to get back to travelling at some point certainly when we go back to see our friends and family in the UK it's very handy to have something that you can take with you as you travel around Europe so I just wanted to give you guys a head up and um, say it's a really good option and out of everything we looked at it um, is the most reliable customer service is brilliant and uh, what they do is when they send you out your pack if you're going for a fairly high data usage like us they send you multiple sims and then uh, after you've used 50 gig you uh, just take the back off and you put a new sim in and then on the next month you can go back to using one of the old sims very straightforward so that's the router uh, it's about three inches by two inches so it can fit easily in your pocket it's not very uh, thick so it's got a USB port there for charging and then, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I press the button. We're currently connected to Vodafone Portugal. It tells you how much data we've used this month, which is currently 66 gig. We've got full 4G. And then being a router, it works like a home Wi-Fi router. So um, your friends and family, anyone else living in your van while you're traveling can uh, tether off it. Um, we've not had any uh, problems where I've been tethering, Missy and Rosie have been tethering. It's very good. And then it also has a little flap under here on the side, which you can pop open. So if you've got a uh, Wi-Fi booster in your van or a dome on the top of your motorhome, you can plug it into that to get a stronger signal when you're locked up on a rainy day inside your van. And then you've got your password for the router on the back so that other people can access it and then the back just clips off and there's a sim slot um, so all very easy peasy and um, gets a big thumbs up from us those weirdos 
highly recommended and a great solution for those of you and for us who like to travel around Europe and require data. So I've popped a link to their website in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.